encourage you with Tough Head. Uh, throwing this video out there, it is uh, full content. I try to condense it as much as possible. It's going over uh, the new Evolution series by Tough Head. It's going to give you a broad overview of everything, and uh, we'll be putting out more content throughout the month of January, probably even into February, on uh, some of the design features that are, are shown in, in these broadheads. Uh, one in particular uh, is to watch out for the bevel. The angle uh, the 20 degree bevel angle video that we're going to start putting together uh, explain some of the reasons why and why we think um, you know it, it works really well for our designs and that steel in particular um, so uh, one major uh, announcement is most of you already know is it is s7 tool steel uh, we play with a bunch of different steels but we really set on s7 i kept coming back to s7 uh, the structural integrity, the, the edge retention we were getting at the rock wall hardness that we found that works, and um, it, it just it just really really works. And, and I kept coming back to there's a couple of steels I like better, but they were super high end powder powder metals, and, and uh, it just cost prohibitive to bring to market. So the S7 was uh, was definitely um, was the contender, and that's what we ended settled settled with, and uh, very very happy with it, um, as I'm sure all you will be too. Uh, so, yeah, we find the right rock wall hardness uh, with the incorporation of that, that 20 degree bevel. Uh, it's very easy to bring back that edge. That 20 degree edge is super sharp and to bring that back, strop it, you know, uh, easy to feel that edge, that bevel and clean it up. It's really, really nice. Um, so we really feel that we find the right rock wall hardness for that steel and incorporating that, that 20 degree bevel is, we think is a game changer. So we're really excited about that. Uh, and also, all these heads are going to be Cerakoted uh, with the, uh, the the higher level of Cerakoting. Uh, it's a little more scratch resistant. Um, it, it's, it's a little more battle proven. Um, so uh, we're really happy with that too. We're able to bring that into this line as well. Um, this complete line, we didn't hold back on anything. So we really wanted to bring everything that we could into this line and keep it still within a you know a good marketable price range. Um, just a quick thing: the reason why we or bring this line out is because we really wanted to expand tough head you know into uh new models new steels and we our, our hands were kind of tied with the classic model i mean there's only so much we can do with it um it's been proven for over a decade it's a great line it's still going to be there it's going to be now called the classic line so that's still going to be around um this line i just wanted to do it i just wanted to make you know new broadheads um because the, the other broadheads work too uh three to one is probably your 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 pinnacle of penetration all things being equal um but other designs work as well so we really wanted to uh showcase that uh so you know all these designs were taken out of many years of, of field experience uh results good results and then we perfected upon a lot of them too so there's some designs on here that are tough head specific uh attributes which i wanted to show i'm going to show you in the video um so we're really really excited about it um really excited about it so this really can open up the door for tough head to get into the modern manufacturing using modern steel uh there's probably gonna be some cool limited runs of certain things throughout the you know the next decade uh with opening up this manufacturing uh process so really really excited about that uh so at the end of this film or this little video um we're gonna jump back i'm gonna sit here and talk to you about the pre-manufacturing so we're gonna have in january so just stay tuned and here's the product Okay, so here we got the new Evolution series. The four models, or actually, the, like I said, there's three models. You have the, the more modern style single bevel. You have the 300, which is the more traditional style single bevel. Then we have the three blades. Uh, one thing I want to mention is right now, everything is going to be offered in a 200, 300, 200, and 300. Okay, we have plans on bringing out uh, more sizes in each one of these lines. Um, in the future. Right now, we're going to launch these this year, 2021, and uh, we're working on um, a, kind of a, a little bit bigger brother of this line and a smaller brother of this one, and then an in, in betweener for this one here. Um, now, these are all shot blasted, so they are all bare metal right now because it shows the characteristics really well and it shows the nice tooling that's done on them. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the uh, we'll start with the single bevels, okay? Now they all have the same attributes. They all have the same characteristics. They are all gonna have um, the 20 degree bevel, which I will explain 
uh, bevel angles in another video. So keep keep an eye out on our YouTube channel. We got a lot of videos coming out over the next month or so of, of 2021. Um, so they all have the 20 degree bevel, okay? They all have the uh, the furl, which extends from the tip the tip to the tail, which is a tough head characteristic, okay? We also have the oversized furl. So what that means is our furl ending towards the shaft is a 350, okay? This is a, this is a, this is a larger furl opening, just like our original tough head, okay? And I'll explain that too real quick. The reason for that is when that S pattern goes in, that actually expands that hole opening. And what that does is it prevents it from sealing up right away, okay? So it holds that hole opening a lot more, which will increase blood flow, um, which a lot of guys, if you've shot our tough head originals, you've, you've noticed that, you know, uh, again, blood trails are blood trails. They're all they're all different, um, you know, every shot's different, but this does aid and it helps benefit uh, the ability to, to increase your chances of a blood trail by keeping that, the hole, the center of the S pattern open more, okay? But I'll go into our video later on that. But this does have the characteristics of tough head, the 350 opening, and you can see the slight chamfer here, which chamfers down to a 310. 310 is your standard diameter, you know, any kind of standard diameter, standard component end. So this lineup's really, really nice with a standard, you know, any kind of standard shaft with a footing. And then it also expands open, so it has a nice transition right here, okay? Um, and again, what that does is it, it aids in, in keeping the hole open, and as well as it, that with that hole being open, there's less resistance over your shaft as it passes through the animal. So any of you guys that shoot the original classics know that our heads pass through. I mean, they, they, they pass through all the time. And this, you know, uh, being oversized as well as the, the, resi the less resistance across the shaft aids in that, plus the three to one. Um, the other, the other big thing here, which is all on all our tough heads, is the four-way tanto tip. Let me see if I can show you that. You can see the four-way tanto tip there. Okay. And, you know, that aids, that's cut on contacts, and it aids in uh, increased penetration at the very beginning of the, of the impact, um, as well as um, it reduces skip angle when it hits bone, and also aids in splitting bone. So that, that helps penetrate into the bone, and then as it's twisting, it helps split it and pass through. Um, it is a little more blunt on the, the the smaller head because of the the increased angle here. Okay. Um, so the other thing we got here, uh, that's really it for right now. Oh, um, they are all going to be spin tested, obviously for trueness things like that. They're all going to be stropped and hunt ready, so they're going to be all field ground ready to go and then stropped, so they will all be honed and ready to ready to hunt right out of the package. Um, one thing about that is this 20 degree bevel really aids in that. Um, I mean, they're, they're almost sharp without being sharpened, if that makes any sense. So, but again, we'll get into the degree of bevels later in another video. Um, so they're all going to be spin tested, ready to go. They're all going to be Cerakoted, all that good stuff. S7 tool steel. Um, the dimensions on the 200 grain is an inch and three sixteenths. So it's 1.1875 width. So it's inch and three sixteenths wide. The blade length is 1.4, 1.36 to be exact. Um, and then the blade thickness, okay, which we had to do this, we keep these pretty thick in order to keep that 20 degree be bevel angle. But um, that blade thickness right there is 70 thousandths on the 200. So that's a 200 grain broadhead, 20 degree bevel, S7 tool steel, 70 thousandths thick. With the attributes from tough head being the the oversized furrow, and you could see the machine work on that. It's really, really nice. There's a lot of machining on that head. Okay, there's a nice close up there. Again, this was shot blasted, so it's, you know, just to show you some of the details. Now, the 300 grain has a uh, an inch and an eighth, 1.125 cutting width. Okay, the blade length is 1.23, 1.25 to be exact. And then, um, let me see here. And then, uh, yeah, now on this one, in order to keep the integrity up too with that steep angle, this is a 74,000 stick steel. So that's your 300 grain. Now our 315, which we sell a lot of, this is the 315, this is 62,000 stick. Okay, this is 62,000 stick. And you could see, I don't know if you could see the difference, but these basically are gonna be, you know, the same heads, they're brothers. You could see the thickness difference. And this thing, is a tank to begin with, uh, you know, you can just imagine. So what we didn't want to do, we, didn't, we with the 300, you know, we, we wanted to close to a three to one style, but we don't want to rival what already works. So this gives you two extremely different options. This gives you three different options in a single bevel. Okay, so this is for comparison here. 
So again, 74,000 stick on that 300. And we brought 300 out to the market because, well, I like 300 and uh, it just, it works. This would be great on moose and elk and uh, as both of these. And then this would be really great for elk and down type of animals. And I wouldn't have a problem shooting any of these at pigs. Um, obviously these take a lot of pigs and these, these have taken a few already this year. So, um, so there you go. Give you that, you can see that nice chamfer right here. That nice chamfer right there matches up. There's that blade angle. And there's your tooling, four way tip. Let me show you the 74 and the 70,000 stick. So you can, you can see, I mean, there's a substantial amount there, it's thick. There's the 315 again, which is 62,000, which we've been making for over a decade, but you can see the difference. And actually the 200 grain, I mean, look at that, substantial. I mean, these are, these are awesome, awesome heads. So we're super excited about this. So there's the three, there's the, there's the uh, Model A, we'll call it, Model B, there is a name for them, and then our classic uh, 315 tough head. So that's those lines. Set them aside. And now the three blade, which a lot of people are excited about. There's our three blade lineup. So we have the 200 and the 300. Okay. Now, um, quick thing with the three, the three blade here. Um, what we did in the center line is we actually raised this rib. What that does is it increases the strength across here. Okay. It adds more strength down the center. And again, our, our furrow ending down here is a 350. So it's a wider and then it's going to taper. This one does not have the taper, but the production line will have the taper at the very end of chamfer. So it's going to have the chamfer like the end here has it nice that nice chamfer at the end so it finishes really nice and clean this will have it as well so that's what you got we all of our broadheads have this nice little profile we put on the back and it's just a signature thing we're going to do so there you go uh, another thing what we incorporated here was this raised rib with the spoon technology we're calling it and what that does is that actually cups that air and stabilizes that broadhead in flight and it really is noticeable at high speeds and long distance um, it's something we added into it uh, by running, you know, aerodynamics uh, studies, and we really found that it works super awesome with super high speeds. We've tested these out of some real high speed crossbows and compounds, and it stabilizes extremely well. Because that was a big thing, because a lot of the broadheads that we tested that were three blade had a had a problem with planing, and they'd raise at the target. Of course, it would increase as the as the as the yardage went on, but. Um, we wanted to take that planing out, and I think we did that. So we got, you know, we got your raised, raised furrow. Of course, it's more raised. It's pretty, pretty prominent here on the on the 300 grain. Okay, they all have the wedge style tip to help prevent any kind of uh, twisting and bending. Um, again, they're all sarah coated and everything. Uh, and what we did was we wanted to reduce this to one inch. Okay. So that's a one inch cutting diameter, right? So that's the whole one inch cutting diameter. And I'll post a picture up here of what the hole looks like from up here. Um, and what that does is that stretches the blade out now. It decreases back here and increases the blade angle, which will increase your, your uh, penetration and decrease your ability to skip. So we increase penetration, decrease the deflection rate, and uh, gave you one penetrating three blade that flies extremely well out of super fast bows. Okay, um, this is gonna be slightly different on the production model. It'll be spooned a little bit differently like this one. This was a first round production for testing. So um, so that's it there, um, that's your 300 and 200. Uh, the 300 grain is uh, 2.42 long. Okay, so it's almost two and a half long. One inch cutting diameter and a 50,000 thick blade. Most three blades that are heavy weight on the market are around in the 40s. We, we were able to push it to 50 with the S7 tool steel too. And then the 200 grain is 210 long. Um, it's obviously a one inch cutting diameter and 42,000 thick. Most 200 grains in the market that we saw were um, maybe pushing 40,000 thick. Most of them were in the 30s, like 35, 34. So we were able to do that with the S7 tool steel as well. All these are S7. They are... These were actually nicknamed the tank during testing because they just, they literally just plow through everything. I mean, they were, uh, 
actually this one here is, has killed a couple animals already so um and you could see and it's passed through went in the dirt it's uh, in good shape of course it's bead blasted but you can see that raised furl that raised inner rib and that nice spoon technology right there so when you can you can see how when that comes down the aerodynamics that thing just stabilizes and, and just stays it doesn't want to plane like a lot of two but a lot of three blades like to plane and float so this one here it took that out of it with that aerodynamic spoon crawling with the spoon technology okay um that's that is it in a nutshell so again that's uh that's the lineup for the the new lineup for 2021 uh, that will be in our pre-manufacturing sale. And this is the 315 for comparison. Let's move them down. And there that you have the product. Uh, and it was pretty quick and crammed a lot of information there. I tried to keep it as short as I could. But uh, anyways, there's more information on the website, toughhead.com. It has a list of some of the information. There's pictures and stuff like that on there. Um, now, as far as the pre-sale, manufacturing sale we're calling it starts january 1st to 17th so what that does is we're going to open up the options to buy the evolution series and the 315 and 265 screw and classics so what you're going to be able to do is purchase what you want um, it'll go into the manufacturing uh, section at that point for on our end and your order will go into manufacturing so all the pre-order all the pre-orders will go into a certain manufacturing at the beginning of all of our manufacturing. We're starting on the 4th of January for manufacturing. So at that point, all the pre-manufacturer, pre pre-sale orders go through manufacturing. And then at that point, they'll get shipped first before we actually officially launch the product and have inventory on the website. So uh, it's a kind of a new concept, especially for us. Um, we think it could work. Um, hopefully everybody's satisfied with it and maybe we'll offer it again next year. Uh, we just feel like last year we just, you know, the, man, the demand was so high. Our classic heads are so labor intensive and so demanding. We just couldn't keep up with the demand. So we feel this way. Some of the people that couldn't get the heads, this is an option. Now you can have them. You know, you have them for, for hunting seasons from spring on. So uh, so our anticipated ship date, um, we don't have a specific date, but we're going to do, and we're just saying right now, end of winter. Um, so end of the first quarter, um, we'll get everything shipped out. And uh, like I said, all the pre-manufacturer customers and sales will be shipped out first. Uh, we plan to officially launch the product uh, sometime in the spring of 2021 when the new website is complete and everything. So, and at that point, we'll have inventory uh, on our website in the store. So, um, so that's that. So if you want any more information, uh, there's the Green Mountain Tradcast. We did a uh, video podcast, uh, which was probably a good hour long, but there's a lot of content on there. Um, there'll be the... Uh, Lethal Podcast is dropping their uh, audio podcast on the 1st of July or January. So that'll be there. And then uh, this video. And uh, keep an eye on uh, the Ranch Fairies channel. There'll be a lot of content coming out uh, with him. And uh, keep an eye on this one too. Because like I said, we're going to be putting more and more content on YouTube. Mainly informational stuff for now. I hope to get into videography a little bit more and start filming hunts and things like that. So just stay tuned. And Thanks, everybody, for all the support and uh, all the loyalty. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, you know, hopefully I can keep putting some really cool shit out there for you guys. And, uh, you know, thanks. Stay tuned.